Deixa o pai que eu disse para o Command Master King, permission and inviting the ring officer to inspect the parade. The parade is commanded by the rest of the army is over Zuri. I'm happy to inform you the purpose of police academy will be regular cross train. There is a great thing, Pulak has taught us, a Pulak has done to have the failure to the glory of the Nia Police Force. And the program of Pulak is commanding a very beautiful ceremonial parade of this nation. We have a most special of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, acting as the Puerto Rico, the Puerto Rico, the big deed. That program will welcome our Nigerian officer, Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Distinguished Senator Azim Sachima, this is the end to a police academy who did in Kano. This is how it is, and I say, the witness this with no professionals we have with the Nigerian police force. I tell people who will not be connected and related to police directly or by prison. And if it is not for you to be a police officer, make sure the children join the police. If that one is too late, make sure you become an idiot, at least, to the police. We are witnessing the personal parade of 169 cadets Officers, regular to spy police academy will be today 12th of August 2023. This is being made again today. I want to put it on record that every event comes in history. This event, the next two minutes, or the next one and a half hours, is going to become in history. Congratulations to our officers that we go now today. We will soon be commissioned by the Revealed Officer and Special Guest of Honor. Congratulations to the parents of these lucky ones. Congratulations to the relations of these friends and well wishes. Congratulations to the Commandant and of course the lecturers from the academic wing of this group and directors, these doctors from the professional wing of these police academy who did come. The Revealed Officer is respecting this parade. After we the parade, we move this to our good time. Then we follow the program of events during the third year over. Once again, we welcome the effective government of Kano State to this place. The host government. Your Excellency, I'm very sure you're happy that you're experiencing this in your whole state. 
And I tell you the first time we are witnessing this in police academy as a new government panel state, southern government. Don't have relations and a victory on all sides. We wish you more good things ahead. The deputy governor of Kano State, who is there, is Excellency Amino Absalam Gozo. We welcome all our distinguished senators and members of the House of Representatives of the National Assembly, led by the Chairman of the 10th National Assembly, President of the Senate, Senator Gozo Atadi. We are all represented by the deputy. Senate President, Senator Parao Dupin, you are all welcome. The special is on the summer. The special guest of honor will come in part of the salute and they will continue to perform other rights here today. The good people of Ruby community, congratulations to you. You gave out the land to build this police academy many years back. We are the host community and we always appreciate your efforts for even protecting this school, this academy. We give kudos to you with your efforts. Thank you, and the IGP is saying thank you to you. We say we must say. The other special is over on the Kutsuya Kesha Bono to go back to the Sanity Day. The Parade Commander, who is the Arunak Isa Wazdiri, the member of regular for today has taken permission from the special guest of honor to carry on with the rest of the parade. And of course, it has the consent for the special guest of honor to carry on with the rest of the parade. This moment is very, very beautiful. When you say good parade, anybody who does parade must be brilliant. You can't go to parade and be a dollar. It's not possible. It's taking his decision to move to parade.
Coming out to me today is making it a real progression. After which, you are going to have your confirmation exam. And this you must pass before you have your second star. That is the standard you have in Nigeria. And your own place cannot be an exception. Once you pass out of this academy, don't drop your boots. Get a small library in your quarters or your house. The exam will soon come. This parade is made up of broad gaps. And that one is commanded by Abdullah 
You see, if nothing is a major state, by cruel letter government, you stand in pieces. Right hands, Subdan Commander 1, you see, Abila Jaro, if I'm going to stay in the standing power chemistry, left hands, Subdan Commander, Dike Divine, is from equal letter government of United States Southern Law. There are two commanded by Umar Jamil in North. It's from now the government in San Francisco State, historic chemistry. Right hands of that commander are met by Amin Uthman. It's from Palata Matara, local government in San Francisco State, studying computer science. That hands of commander, Ugolo. Ometa is from the Senegal government in Coastal States. He studied for chemistry. The three is commanded by Mohammed Bari Chou. From Zoni local government in Safara State, he studied law. The third son guard commander, Dorothy Uton Kristofa, is from Ikot Abbasi local government in the Ido State, studying for chemistry. Right hands of that commander, okay, for his serving in me, from what it knows the government in Delta State, he studied English language. That form is commanded by Samia Dunladi Samela, he from the local government in the States, studying English language. Right hands of that, Fausa Mohammed Ghazali, from the Zawlata government of South Dakota State, Studying accounting. Many of them are from San Francisco, and the government of San Francisco is here. Left hand of God, Commander Abraham Yusuf Chiga, is from Kuali Yuko Government of the Federal Capital Territory. Mike Wayne Science. This is the third time session on the parade. Very soon we're going to pray to good time. And you're going to see the star of this young Melissa's Amiro. Policing means perfection. Policing means good and smart legal system to have proper thinking process. To have a very good time and discharge your duties as expected of you. It's expected of these young ones to be responsible, reliable and good ambassadors of the Indian police force when they grow. We once again welcome our royal powers here. And Kano State, Emir of Kano State is Iris Aladi Amir Adoba Yorosa Fal. The Emir of Kaya, Dr. Ali Ibrahim, and the Padre Kaya. Emir of Kaya, Aladi Dr. Ibrahim, and the Padre II. Emir of Rano, Dr. Ambassador Kapila Muhammad in Nowa. Hassan Dao. Emir of Pichi is here represented by Aladi Seko Umar Tofa. Members of the Nigeria Police Force Management Team are here. Heads of security agencies are here. Assistant Inspector General of Police from various commissions are here. Commissioners of Police are here. Very senior officers are here. Vice Chancellors of various universities are here. We have directors from military department and agencies, of the federal government and of course state government of Kano. We are here present, present in the person.
Let's all see the singles gallery and gentlemen, please. We need to rise any time the standard party passes to sign. We can mark all the stage of national flag. Whenever the standard party passes to sign, we have to rise in honor of the national flag. Thank you. This is the central band of the Nigeria Police Party Agency. Made up of more than 100 officers. Thank <laughs> you. 
Casanet. Thank you, Excellency, for following our national flags and respect we have for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. May God bless you. That's the three years. One man for Ahi say it was the real government in Sapporo too. Third in law.
This is the Lord Jane and his mother house in our house. As we experience these young officers being marching forward into glory, into policing and Nigeria, to carry out our responsibilities as a train in sections two and four, the two and six of the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria.
Wunder die Vorstellung. And parade will move forward with the builder. Then we take our dresses one after the other. Clap for them, clap for them, going down for people. This is excellent indeed. Mr. Hansel, the Governor of Ghana State and Deputy Governor of Ghana State, distinguished Senators, we are present and all members of the House of Representatives, the Estate of the Air Police, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, our revived traditional rulers, those senators, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, we turn. We are going to listen to the office of the Commandant Police Academy in the Big Penny. Then we have a note welcome to the podium. Assistant Inspector General Police, Federal AFG, Sadiq, Abu Bakr, MNI, Commandant Police Academy will be. Can you give us a seat? Come on down, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. His Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, heavily represented by Senator Kashin Shetim, 
Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger, and of course, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. His Excellency Engineer Kabir, Abba Kabir Yusuf, Executive Governor of Kano State, His Excellency the Deputy Governor of Kano State, Amin Abdul Salam Gorzo. The Deputy Senate President, Senator Barao Jibrin, Senator Ambassador Abdul Hamid Maturi, who is the Chairman, Senate Committee on Police Affairs, Honorable Mikey Elema, Chairman, House Committee on Police Affairs, and Honorable Mohamed Salu Gire, Chairman, House Committee on Police Institutions. Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Gwambi Musa Oberar, who is represented by Major General S.Y. Bashir, Chief of Army Staff, Major General Tauri Abiodun Labaja, DSS, PSC Daga, represented by Major General B.A. Alabi, GOC Wandip Kaduna. Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ogala, FDC Plus, represented by Commodore J.K. Adedeji. Chairman, Police Service Commission, PSC for short, IGP Solomon Erase, retired, PhD, MPM, FDC, CFR. Inspector General of Police, Acting Inspector General of Police, Olikayo de Adelu Ebedokum, PhD, MPM. Director General, Department of State Security Service, Yusuf Magaji Bichi, CFR, represented by Alaji Muhammad Hassan, Acting Comptroller General, Nigerian Immigration Service, AG CIG Adepuji Karol Wuraula, represented by Comptroller Nasir Umar, Comptroller General, Correction Service, Halur Nababa, MNI, FR, represented by Comptroller Suleiman Inwa, Commandant General Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, Ahmad Abakar Audi, PhD, MNI, OFR, represented by Commandant Mohammed Lam Falala, FCNA. Chairman, Chief Executive Officer, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Brigadier General Mohammed Buba Marwa, retired, CON, represented by Commander Abubakar Idris Ahmad. Corps Marshal, Federal Road Safety Corps, Dauda Abu, represented by Sector Commander Ibrahim Salu Abdullahi, members of the State Executive and Legislature and Judiciary, Royal Fathers Avia of Kano, His Excellency Amin Adobayo Rosiavar, Emir of Gaya, Dr. Aliu Ibrahim Abdul Kadir Gaya, Emir of Karai. Kurai Al Haji, Dr. Ibrahim Abu Bakar Nebu, two. Emir of Rano, Dr. Ambassador Kabir Muhammad Inwa Autanbao. Emir of Bichi, represented by Alej Isaka Umar Tova. Members of the Post Management Team, Assistant Inspector General of Police, Commissioner of Police, the Academy Provost, Professor Salisu Adama Abdullahi, Senior Officers of the Nigerian Police Force and other agencies, Council members. Nigerian Police Academy, Vice Chancellor of other universities here present, distinguished invited guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the management and staff of the Academy, I have the privilege to welcome our esteemed visitor, the President Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces heavily represented by the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We thank Mr. President for the honor of being part of this event to review the passing out parade and commissioning of regular course five, RC5 oblique 2017, in short, graduates. The Academy is proud to present to Mr. President
169 well-trained and nurtured graduating cadets who have successfully completed both their academic studies and professional trainings. They are worthy both in character and learning. All of them have been awarded bachelor degree in different disciplines. The Nigerian Police Academy Wujil Kano was established on the 15th of March 1998. Initially, it started from two temporary locations, Police College Kaduna and Police Training School Chalawa Kano. At that initial stage, it was not a degree awarding institution. It is on record that since its inception, the academy has made the Nigerian nation proud. A good number of senior police officers, including the acting inspector general of police and some of us present here, started their professional training in this institution, either as ASP cadets or inspector cadets. The upgrading of the academy to a degree awarding institution started in June 2009. In January 2012, it commenced degree programs with four faculties, normally humanities, sciences, social and management sciences, with a total number of 17 departments. The academy admits holders of senior secondary school examination certificates to undergo five-year academic professional training after which they are graduated and commissioned as ASPs. The core objective of the academy is to produce an ideal superior police officer who is equipped with knowledge and skills to face the challenges of policy in an increasingly complex Nigeria society and a technologically sophisticated world. With the commitment and continuous support of the federal government of Nigeria, the academy is able to vigorously pursue policies that are purposely focused in transforming the academy as one of the best police training institutions that takes the lead in innovative practices, research, training, modern policy, and quality education. The achievements are facilitated through numerous federal government intervention support programs, e.g. the 10th one, for the provision of staff trapping and training and modern facilities. Thus, the infrastructure and the staffing of the academy has grown considerably. Our various degree programs are fully accredited, accredited by the National University Commission and other relevant regula regulatory agencies. However, more still need to be done to make the academy live up to future challenges of both professional police training and academic excellence. Overall, the academy has done tremendously well in realizing its objectives, especially in the provision of advanced quality academic and professional training of police officers, as well as upgrading of curriculum content, core practical police courses, collaboration with other institutions at both domestic and international levels, such as membership of the International Association of Police Academies. In addition, academic programs are expanded by the introduction of additional departments. Presently, There is intensive efforts to introduce faculty of engineering, programs in French, education, criminology and security studies, actuarial science and kickstart, postgraduate programs and the center for the study of police and policy. Moreover, with the provision of well-equipped modern forensic laboratory by the Central Bank of Nigeria, the academy has brought to limelight its dream of providing effective training in the field of forensic Forensic technology was widely required in, which is widely required in modern day policy. To our graduates, our graduating cadets, today is not just the culmination of a, your chap, one chapter in your lives, but the beginning of another. As you prepare to step out in the field of service, always remember the scared trust that has been placed on your shoulders. You are not just uniform individuals enforcing law, but the embodiment of justice the defenders of peace, order, and national security. Each interaction you have with members of the public will shape their perception about the Nigerian police force. Therefore, treat every encounter with respect, empathy, fairness, and patriotism. Remember that 
your commitment to public service is not restricted to regular duty hours. Your dedication extends beyond the confines of the job. It is a way of life. Your sacrifice and commitment will never go unnoticed. And the difference you make in safeguarding the rules of law will be immeasurable. Your commissioning into the Nigerian police is coming at a period when the country has been challenged by various security issues. However, it coincides with the recent policy of the acting Inspector General of Police on the repositioning of the force for a good service delivery. Therefore, I urge you to discharge your responsibility sincerely, professionally, and diligently. Your exceptional training, which is grounded in excellent academic discipline, should in all contexts be effectively displayed in the service of this great country, especially in the fight against crime, corrupt practices, and terrorism. Once again, to each and every one of you, as you march proudly into a world that brings on your expertise, moral compass, and unwavering dedication to protect and serve, I always want to congratulate you, your families, who have stood by you and given you all the moral support needed to succeed. Finally, I want to once again express my deepest and sincere appreciation to our Epstein President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, heavily represented by the Vice President of the Public, Federal Republic of Nigeria, for honoring our invitation. We appreciate your tireless effort to address the needs and concern of the academy. Also, we appreciate people who made this event successful. The Chairman Police Service Commission, who is serving as the alternate chair of the Academy Board of Councils, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Police Affairs, and all serving and retired stakeholders who are always ready to assist us in our areas of need. We must mention here the exceptional encouragement and support given By, by the, to the Academy by the Acting Inspector General of Police, IGP Kayo de Ebetokun, PhD, FM. We wish all of us a happy stay as we witness this auspicious event. Thank you and God bless all. Can we please officially come and guys for that beautiful speech? Messi, is here to do your dating cards. But they need to be good ambassadors of the Nigeria Police Force. Thank you, Commandant. Your Excellency, very senior officer, the civil guys, ladies and gentlemen, I want to inform Oh, that this program is running for TVC and other platforms. We are live on TVC and other platforms. This is for information and ethical consideration, please. Yes, yes, yes. Very similar to the same as guys, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to listen to the special guys of honor. I will bring all the side of this parade with Excellency the President, Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmed, who will be this as well. He is able to represent here by the Vice President, distinguished Senator Kasim Satima Disen, to please address this noble. Gathering this afternoon. Can we appreciate Mr. President, please? We can do better for our president. We can do better for him. Thank you, Your Excellency. Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kano State, Engineer Abba Kabir Yusuf, the Excellency, the Deputy Governor 
of Kansi Al Haji Amin Abdul Salam Gordo, the Deputy President of the Senate, Distinguished Senator Baro Jibrin, Distinguished Senator Abdul Hamid Ahmed Malam Maduri, Distinguished Senator Pai Hanga, Right Honorable Abu Bakar Bichi, Right Honorable Al Hassan Ado Dogua, Right Honorable Maki Yaleman, and Honorable Mohammed Sadi Hugire, the Chairman Police Service Commission, the Acting Inspector General of Police, Kayo Diadiolu Egetokun, and his senior management. Family Secretaries, Directors General, and Heads of Extra Ministerial Agencies and Parastatals of the Federal Government, the Commandant, Nigeria Police Academy, AIG Sadiq Idris Abubakar, Representatives of Service Chiefs and Heads of Security and Paramilitary Agencies present, His Royal Highness, the Emir of Kano and Chairman of Kano Emirates Council. Al Haji Aminu Ado Bayoro, Your Royal Highnesses, our Emirs, present here. Management, staff, and cadets of the Nigeria Police Academy, our dear graduating cadets, their families, guardians, and friends, honored guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Today I stand among you to share in the joy of this moment, I'm also here to express the profound gratitude of a nation waiting for you on the other side of these walls, a nation eager to embrace your burial. This honor to review the passing out parade of the regular course 5 to 2017 cadets of this distinguished academy renews my faith in our collective pact to protect this country and institutionalize a culture of justice. This academy, therefore, is designed to model and remodel the heroes and heroines Nigeria aspires for. And it's my conviction that you are leaving this place bearing the sacred responsibility for which you have sworn to adhere. There couldn't have been a better time to remind you of what lies ahead, and appeal to you that you are leaving this institution with more than degrees, certificates, and specialized training. We are not living here just as ambassadors of an institution we intend to support to become the premier learning center of the police within and beyond the shores of West Africa. You are living here, bearing the promise and the oath to be the uncompromising guardians of your fatherland. Our dear graduating cadets, ladies and gentlemen, it's impossible to project any measure of progress without the police because the moral compass of law enforcement stands as a quintessential gauge of growth for any nation. So each of you here today is by design and that's sufficient proof that you are willing to be the difference this administration has placed a champion. We won't rest until this institution realizes its objectives in both the infrastructural and moral development of police officers who prioritize empathy over self-interest, justice over compromise, and accountability over corruption. A functional police force is the pathway to a just society, and the change we promise begins from this institution. Our moral duty now is to support the Nigeria police force and other security organizations in intensifying their abuse to improve public safety. The immense difficulties we face, spanning from the parents of organized crime to electronic court, poses substantial risks in our swiftly evolving global landscape. Nevertheless, my confidence in the combined capabilities of our security entities to address these difficulties remain unshaken. United will overcome these obstacles and guarantee the security and prosperity of our diverse nation. Our dear cadets, 
I share your enthusiasm to be commissioned into the Nigerian police force, and I assure you of the government's commitment to providing you with the avenue to serve the nation without sacrificing your dignity. Therefore, the task of handling these issues requires a set of well-trained officers with the right orientation, discipline, initiative, patriotism, and sound operational capacity. I am confident in the quality of training you have received over the five, five years in this academy, and I believe you are adequately prepared to serve this country. May you all embark on this journey with courage and determination. Knowing that the nation needs your patriotic services, stay vigilant, stay united, and stay true to the ideas that make our police force an exemplar of honor and integrity. As we uphold our democratic values alongside addressing security concerns, let's hold fast to the core virtues of our police force, integrity, honesty, and compassion. We must treat all citizens fairly and uphold their human rights regardless of background. Our actions must exemplify the highest ethical standards as we safeguard the rule of law. Together we embody the principles that define a trusted and responsible police force. This passing out parade is undoubtedly an important milestone for the regular course five cadet officers graduating today. You are here because you stood out and we stood the rigorous training designed to mold you into patriots. So I must say congratulations. To the families and loved ones gathered here today, I want to express my deepest gratitude, your unwavering support, understanding, and sacrifice have played an invaluable role in shaping these officers into the dedicated professionals they are today. Our country places its confidence in you from this moment, and this is a sacred trust you must never disappoint. You are no more exclusively affiliated with your parents or immediate family. You are no longer confined to a village, town, or state. You are now a part of the Nigerian mission, and you will serve it altruistically and remain ready to make the highest level of dedication in the situation demands. We must do our best within our capacity to ensure that an improvement in the security of lives, properties, and investments of our people and foreign investors. This administration is committed to implementing effective measures to combat the security challenges in Nigeria, and our synergy is the surest ticket to that destiny. We are implementing a comprehensive approach that focuses on key areas. First, we are investing in our law enforcement agencies to enhance their capabilities and effectiveness. We are offering extra resources, training, and equipment to bolster our police force and security agencies. Simultaneously, we are enhancing our intelligence and information sharing systems on both national and international levels. We acknowledge that addressing security challenges necessitates cooperative endeavors with other countries. Hence, we are establishing alliances to adeptly tackle transnational threats. Furthermore, we are executing all encompassing social programs and economic development projects aim at fostering inclusiveness, social unity, and economic prospects for everyone. Permit me, Your Excellencies, Your Royal Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, to commend the leadership of the Police Academy, the Commandant, the Provost, and all staff and police personnel of the Academy for the good job done to achieve the successful training of these cadet police officers. Finally, Congratulations once again to the parents and guardians of the graduating cadets, and gratitude to all the invited guests gathered here to witness the making of this history. I wish you all safe travels as you return to your respective destination. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let us appreciate the President. Commander Chief of the Forces is once again. That is a special guest of honor and the great officer of this parade. Thank you, Your Excellency.
Last answer is distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. At this point in time, we want to go all representation of prizes and awards. I have the signal now before me. Yes, it is. That the sword of honor will go to connect as the DK Divine for the Department of Law. He's 25 years old, he's from Rivers State, and also the tenor number one of the regular Cosby Police Academy will be. I want to call forward Cadet ASP DK Divine. While he's marching forward, I would like to invite you to the salute you guys. The Inspector of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Acting IGP Lupe Udi, Adiru, Executive Republic B, NPM, to go forward, we have an assignment here, the IGP. At this point in time, I want to invite again our special guest as well. The Division Officer, President, Commander in Chief of the Home Forces, Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Executive and the Vice President, we will pay the presentation of this sword to this young officer. The sword is presented to the Special Guest of Honor by the OGP, and then the Special Guest of Honor will hand over the sword to the people. Divine. Thank you, everybody. Congratulations. Thank you. Divine, please march forward to receive this one. I'm sure your father, your mother, we are very happy where they are now. The governor and the good people of the United States are also happy. That they have made them proud. And we are sure that from this moment, you continue to make us proud in the Nigeria Police Force and in Nigeria Plan. Congratulations to you. Again, I have the privilege of inviting overall guests in the academics and police professional duties to go forward. Cadet ASP Devin Israel. Of your Navy, or no one Navy, the Department of Law, who is of the third year old, the rest of that are still. I invite to receive this prize, Cadet ASP Devin Israel, or no one Navy. This is the all best in academic and police professional duties.
with 4.7 ACGP for the Department of Law. Can we please clap for this gentleman? 4.78. Many of you will be starting now. We do manage, manage to go to the group of class. This is a big group. The next, on the list we have, your Excellency, is the best credit officer in character. Wonderful. Best cadet officer in character goes to cadet SB Adela Mohamed on last two person. He is from the Department of Power Chemistry. He is 24 years old and he hails from Moyo State. I have the privilege of inviting forward to have his prize. The best cadet officer in character. Cadet SB Adela Mohamed. On last two person. Can we appreciate this young man? Abi Allah, Muhammad, Allah Tumbo Sun, is marching forward gallantly, the best great officer in character. Victor, you have a big piece where you go to the field. You can agree to join us in population departments to exhibit your good character. Your Excellency, the next program you want to do, the next assignment is keeping and commissioning of male and female parents, the major purpose for which we have been invited to fill out today. Round, then a period of inviting court, Peter T.S.P. Mohammed Brown Show, who is from San Juan State, he studied law and is 25 years old. And Dorothy upon Christopher, the United SP, she is from Mako Edo State. She's 24 years old and also happens to be the general number two of the regular first-time credit ASP Pola. He studied law chemistry. Now I call forward one minute, the only show. The new forward again is Cadet USP Dorothy Hupon Christopher. What oh, is your voice? You sound for free, make it for free, I know. And if you say that way, your fat way must come with decency. The void of corruption, extortion, and harassment. You have pretty good voices. Use this 
to support the initiative and policies of the Inspector General Police for effective policing of Nigeria. We don't do mobile training. We don't do the level ground. We have to tell you to march forward towards the Special Gates of Honor for your people and commission. I'm informing the Excellency that these award winners have been declared with various prices for Nigerian Police Microfinance Bank. Cash prices and other good items given to them to appreciate them. Yes, yes, yes. At this point in time, let me invite one of the council members of the Dia Police Academy, Godwin Pansu, Chairman Police Service Commission, the Chair IGP, Dr. Solon, and Russell to step forward. We have a tradition here, yes, yes, yes. At this point in time, I want us to have all the presentations at once. We have a group to the beginning to the special guest of honor. We have a special group to the special guest of honor. We will be handed over to the chairman, police service commission, who is a strong member of the government council of Plot, to do presentation to Mr. President. It's a tradition here, and this is part of the history that we written here today. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm a special guest of honor and the of this office today. We appreciate you. At this point in time, the president will go back to saluting the answer that he can finish this parade on time. Parade Commander, carry on with the rest of the parade, please.
Congratulations, Commission, the three of your students today. The police commander is to the police commander is taking permission from the special guest of honor to march all this today. I will expect all the officers and police to march to the 14th gallery. They have your permission to march out the police sergeant and the rest of the parade, Your Excellency. The evening is here, you can carry on. Can directing staff please? I'm going to present here photo stand for the group photograph. While the protocol from the floor has to be joined in to make sure there is the plan for all this. That is the hand of the ceremonial today. These ones are now called AFSP, not to be able to do Brother for house, Mama for house, the name don't change.
appreciate everyone who has come to witness this occasion. We are sitting here on the door of Glory and East City Police and Penny Lee Hobby. Ten months, years ago, the passion to love. Ten months, years ago, the passion to love. Ten months, years ago, the passion to love. We have to tell the media the criminals of the police put you coverage of this event. All of you have to go and appreciate it. We appreciate the police bodies for your efforts from other colors of this event. All of you have to do we have to say to the academic wing of the lot, from the progress done, we have to say to the view. The people from UP, town and UP local government of Tano State, and in Baron State, we have to say to the view. Thanks to all of you in Hong Kong, as they say. They say, Dalu to you, Nigo. I will say, I shake you to a cab or a Yoruba.
Welcome back from the live telecast. We'll now continue with our regular programs. Stay tuned. BBC News, Lagos. Some experts are asking the federal government to address poverty as a way of curbing the spate of human trafficking in Nigeria. These and many more form the basis of discussions at a forum held in Ibado. Olaide Oyewole has more in this report. The illegal trade of people for exploitation has been a grave concern, having an alarming and devastating impact on national development. The National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons reported that women and children are the most vulnerable targets being subjected to sexual exploitation. 38-year-old Abimbola Ademola, not a real name, shares her account of being offered employment prospects in Lebanon which ultimately led to our exploitation. So, as I reach uh, Lebanon, so they locate us to one house, like 500 girls there. Uh, put us like a one week, no food. <laughs> I try to be called, no retrieval. They say, I can't call Nigeria number again, but I'm enslaved now. She disclosed how luck worked for her, resulting in her eventual rescue from the clutches of her enslavers. She snapped my passport and he posted it to Facebook that she want to sell this lady to $1,000. Ah, Nigeria people not 